Maddie McGrath from MTI and welcome to our golden tips uh, section. With me is um, Alex Heady, once again, one of our coaches. And we're gonna talk about early preparation. You may have heard that phrase quite a lot. So, Alex, what's early preparation? What, what, what have you heard over the years? Oh, people come up to me and see the beginners saying, I've got to get rack it back early, early preparation, rack it back. Um, total mix as far as I'm concerned, yeah. Exactly, there's always rack it back. And we've done so many courses and we've asked coaches the same question. How many people say early preparation? And loads of them their hand up. Okay, second question. What is early preparation? And that's the sound you hear. Right. Exactly. Well, what do the top guys actually do? This is the thing. The other thing is that they get beginners to take great big loopy swings. Yep, C exactly. shapes, unit turns, all this sort of thing. It, it sounds really complicated. Does it have to be that complicated? That really, really easy to track it part of it. I think it's one of the most overcomplicated parts of the whole you know, tennis or the learning, uh, learning process. Absolutely. Big cross next and I've got, to, I've got to admit guys, I've actually done this myself. I've used this phrase, rack it back early, early preparation, but it doesn't work. And it's only by studying the pros carefully that you actually, you actually see what goes on. So Alex and I are going to show a little drill to point out what, it, what first of all, what happens when you get your racket back too early and with great big C-shaped swings and so on. And hopefully we'll put the record straight afterwards. Racket back early is not early preparation. I think we can agree with you, Andy. I think I look very uncomfortable. I don't know how I looked, but it didn't feel great, so I guess it looked even worse. It didn't look good at all, mate. Okay. Yeah, there was no, yeah, you were nowhere near. Really but good. this is what you hear people being taught. True. Rack, you know, racket back, start the racket back, back early. Sometimes sideways on. Now, obviously, uh, in our uh, mainstream films, now you'll see the progressions that we give from start to finish, start from humble beginnings, all the fundamentals. TTFF. So the question still remains, what is early preparation? Alex, what is early preparation? Early preparation is basically tracking of the ball. Tracking, absolutely. You see the top guys do this. You see them in ready position. The first thing they do when they see the ball and when they start to move, you see them get their racket out to the ball. They're stalking the ball with their racket. They're looking at the ball or out the corner of their eye, their peripheral vision, they can see their racket. So they marry the two together, okay? And they move to the ball like this. If you watch any of the top players, that's what you'll see every time, isn't it, Alex? Yep, moving to the ball through there. The Absolutely, okay. Now, we're gonna show you a really, really powerful drill, um, how you can get your players doing this again and again and again. And not only is it good for the tracking, it's also good for these things, the end of your legs, the feet. We talk about footwork, Getting players to move and coordinate your movement with your hands, isn't it? Yep. yep. All together, all in one. Yep. But your feet will only move because your hands track the ball. Your hands find the ball, your feet will move. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Shall we do this? Let's do it. Let's do it.
This is a tracking drill which you can use for um, just about any ground stroke, forehand or backhand. We're going to show you the forehand drill. I'm going to uh, support the ball out in front of me like this and Alex has got to follow the ball by tracking no matter what height the ball is. So if I raise the ball higher, his racket goes higher, with both hands on the racket, he goes lower, he goes lower. And you notice by having both hands on the racket, his basically upper body has turned. So when we talk about this phrase, unit turn, you don't even have to say that because the hands have already done that, the hips. This is where the power comes from, the hips. When the hands are in this position, they're already there. So as soon as I drop the ball to one side, or Alex, Alex has to move, and hit the ball over the net from where I drop the ball. So Alex, how was that for you? Tough, very tough chill. Um, really, really good though. I mean, it's, it's, it's quite tough to keep the right the height, get the steps in there, but really, really good. I felt really comfortable with I could find the ball wherever it is and uh, adjust it for the right height. Were you conscious about your backswings? No, I didn't, didn't think about my backswing. I concentrated on keeping the racket in front and making sure my contact point was in front, and it seemed to come think, pretty naturally from that. You no. might think about loops? No, like I was making sure I made contact out in front and tracked out in front. Because it was interesting, um, with the higher ball, obviously your racket is here, and it naturally goes back like so. So to the naked eye, it looks like you're taking a huge, you're conscious of taking a huge backswing, yet for the lower ball, there's not much in the way of a backswing yeah, at all. It, it's just a question of timing, isn't it, about that, how much time you've got the higher ball, need that kind of loop to get around the quick corners and haven't got that much time, you've got to get the racket out in front. So do you agree then, by teaching one loop backswing, one size doesn't fit all? No, it makes, makes no sense at all. You need to teach almost backwards from the, the contact point, from tracking the ball, and that loop and the backswing comes from, comes from there. Absolutely right. So backswing takes care of it, it takes care of itself, but when you see the guys on, at uh, Roland Garros on the clay court, they're, they're hitting balls up here all day long. So naturally, people think they've got big natural loops. When in fact, they're only doing that with the ball's covering its shoulder high. Yeah, exactly. And it looks, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Alex. Really, really good job. Fantastic. Fantastic.